Hey, right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're going to show you guys our little chicken processing station we got going on. I got my brother over here and my nephew, Aiden. He's been he's been dying to get on camera, so we got him over here. Uh, we've been teaching him how to do this stuff, manly things, you know. Um, what we got going on right now is um, me and Vincent, I'm, I'm cleaning the chickens. I'm putting the breast in a bowl and the wings and the thighs and legs. Is that about, that's about right, isn't it? And then Vincent, Vincent, I, Vincent's taking all the wings home with him. He's like a wing expert cooking type of guy. So he'll show you how, how to dress these up pretty good. And um, I'll show you guys how um, I debone a chicken. Might not be the way you guys do it. Might not be the way a lot of people do it. It's the way I do it. It works really well for me. It's really simple. I don't think there's a whole lot of ways you can actually debone a chicken other than what I'm probably doing. But if there is, I'm sure you guys will let me know. So let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, so Aiden's got a job to do. Aiden, what's your job? Come chicken. here. Get up here. What's your job, Aiden? Whenever he says, why am I even looking at this, I have to put that, put the chicken in this chest right here. What's that chest full of? Carcasses? I don't know what that word is. That's a, that's a carcass. Okay. And then I have to get full chickens out of that one. And where do you put them? Right there. Right there. Right about there. I'll see you do All it. All right, do your job. You want to eat dinner tonight? Do your job. That's it, huh? Nice. Nothing to it. All right. If I clean the chicken, I'll get these uh, legs out, pull them out a little bit. I'll go ahead and just slice them right there. You can see it goes with a natural cut. I'm not cutting them all the way. This, the reason why I'm doing this, it helps me get in here on this breast a lot easier. I'll just kind of pull them down a little bit. And then just find the bone. <clears throat> cut down cut down in there, kind of just twist it around. However, however you can get a hold of it. You can see that this comes right off. There's there's one breast. Set that to the side, and I will do the other side. It's really simple, really. There's the other one. And then what I do is I'll just pop this bone. You can see that bone pop out right there. Cut, pop it out of joint. Come in here and just cut it off. Stick it over in my bowl. Do the same thing as the other side. Ooh, that's a loud one. Just pop it out of joint. Just makes it easier to cut. I think you can kind of pop it out of that one too. That's all there is to it. Just got the carcass left. A lot of people um, will boil this and make their own uh, chicken broth. We're not doing that with this batch. We're just getting these cleaned up. I'm going to go ahead and de-skin it. Pull the skin off. Throw it in my bowl over here. We'll go ahead and show you uh, Vincent and Aiden doing some vacuum sealing. Pull that skin off. You can dress these up now or you can dress them up later. This one's actually good. Oh. Hey, I don't know why I'm still looking at this. Do your job. How many more is in there? Two. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're using this uh, food saver here, vacuum sealer. My brother got it at Amazon. We're gonna do a link below. Uh, it works really great. As you can see, uh, I mean, it's just working I mean, just great for what we need it for. Um, anyway, start off sealing it. This one's already sealed. Uh, and just make sure you got you enough room to, to put in however much you want. Today, we're only putting in about four pieces uh, in each bag, just so that way when they thaw it out, we got just enough for a meal for the family. You know, we're not thawing out too much or not enough. Just the perfect, uh, just the perfect amount. So I'm just gonna load up four breasts. And 
and uh, make sure it's in there just right. And I usually hit the button. <laughs> it's got two different modes uh, for dry food and moist food. Uh, as far as I can tell, the uh, moist food just leaves a little bit more air. I mean, it obviously gets almost all of it, but it leaves just a little bit of room for when it freezes. The juices are going to expand, so it just leaves just a little bit of room for it to freeze. And uh, it automatically seals, so that's pretty sweet. And there you have it. This one's uh, ready to go. You can label it. they got a spot on here that you can label them, put the date on there, say what it is, and uh, when you made it. Like I said, Vince is going to take the, the wings home with him, so he's going to show you guys how he dresses them up, how he likes them. You don't have to do this, just how he does it, and uh, he's going to show you guys real quick. All right, guys, as you can see, when you uh, take it right off the chicken, it's going to be in uh, two pieces, and this uh, extra wing tip here is just unnecessary. I mean, I don't eat it. I don't use it, so I'll just cut that right off. comes right off, and I split them right down the middle, and uh, it comes in apart in two pieces. And I just found it's a lot easier to, uh, to bread them, uh, and to, to bake them, to grill them when they're separated like this because as you can see this is just bulky and just awkward and it doesn't lay flat so I like them separated so that way they're just easier to cook. It's a personal preference. Oh man! It's a big one. Legs up. I could have held that. Here's that. Oh man! Any bigger than these birds went to fit so we butcher them right at the right time. Alright Aiden, put the straw in there. Inside the chicken in the hole. You gotta put it in the bag, Aiden. Alright. There you go. Okay. Alright, while he's finishing that up, um, I'm actually giving a couple whole birds away to uh, uh, a friend of mine. And uh, so I'll show you guys uh, how these bags work. I haven't showed you guys that yet. And I've got like 10 of these in the freezer already that I didn't video. I was waiting for today to do it all so you guys can see them vacuum sealing it. I was cleaning it, all that. And uh, I'll show you guys putting this in the boiling water and shrinking it. It works really well. Guys, you put it in the bag. Um, you get the straw it comes with, um, the little package I got off Amazon. I'll put a link down below too with, for this if you guys are interested. And you put this in the bag about halfway inside the chicken. And then you're just going to do this right here. Just like that. And then you're going to put your little zip tie around it. All right, so I got the zip tie. I push it down as close to the carcass as I can. And also, you need to put the, uh, the chicken legs up, upwards. It's just how they recommend it. I guess it just makes a better seal. Find some. Yep, those work. And uh, it says use a pair of pliers for these, and I and, and you need one. You need a pair of pliers to pull the zip tie because it's slippery and wet and all that. So I'll show you putting it in there. About five seconds or so should be plenty. Put water in. And I was gonna pull this zip tie tight. Pull my straw out. Hold that one side. And really get it good and tight on there. You can see that. That's pretty cool. You wanna to try to get all the water out as possible? I still had some in there, it's not a big deal. Now, this is a finished product right here. You can see how how it is. Hey guys, just a little rundown of what we did with the chickens. Um, this is the first year I've ever done meat chickens. I ordered 30 of them. I think I lost three, maybe four, I think three. So I have 26 or 27, I have to go back and look. Um, but these, we put, me and my brother have done three sets. We've done um, like a corner style, like a little one, and then a medium sized one, and then these ones. Um, I weighed these at right over four, four pounds, 4.1 or whatever. Um, I think a lot of people try to get between four and five pounds. I'm not positive about that, but I think that's why I've been uh, watching and reading people trying to get theirs too. So all these, um, 16 or 17 of them, or 15 or 16, I'm not sure, um, were right over four pounds. Last week's are um, like three, over three, and the other ones are between two and a half and three. So um, just, just perfect for what we're wanting. Any bigger than they want, any, uh, if these chickens got any bigger, they wanted to fit in the bag, as you guys could see uh, whenever we did. These little, these, uh, these shrink wrap bags work awesome. Um, now we did do, we did do a lot of vacuum sealing. Uh, like you said before, we did four breasts in each and then four legs and thighs um, in the other one. That way whenever we thaw them out, that's just enough for what we need and we're not wasting a bunch. Um, but I had, I had all this vacuum stuff on hand, so I was like, why not just vacuum seal them? Um, I could have done it all in the shrink bag, but I had to vacuum seal. 
Now, one of the reasons why we went ahead and, and uh, processed them out is because, first of all, um, it makes it easier to cook. That way, if you just want to do uh, breasts or if you want to do thighs, just pull them out of the freezer and, and cook them. Um, you don't want, sometimes you might not want to do whole chicken. Okay, another reason is that way we can make uh, freezer space. Now, we've got a, a pig in there, um, a, a cow, a steer in there, and now we're going to have a lot of chicken in there. So, um, we're making room for the chicken. I've already got like eight or ten whole chickens in the freezer. I didn't need any more whole ones, so we got it all processed out like like you see here back behind me. So everything went good. I'm definitely gonna do this again. I might even get some rangers here in the next uh, month or two. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how things are going. We're gonna be really busy with the house. So I don't know if I wanna mess with chickens again until we're done. So maybe in the fall if we're able to get some. Um, we can do them then. But all right, guys. Hope this um, helps some of you guys out on the processing part of it. Um, as you can see back here. Um, I'll do another um, video sometime that actually how much it cost me um, to raise each chicken. So how much it was per pound and all that. Um, I, got, I got all the stuff written down. Just haven't had time to go through and figure it all up. But as you can see, four pound chicken in eight weeks. It's pretty awesome. All right, guys. Hope you liked this video. If you did, Smash that like button for me if you would. If you're not subscribed to my channel, just please subscribe. Click that little bell for notifications. Um, that way you will get them whenever YouTube decides to put them out there. Thanks for watching, guys.